and exclusive, indisputable, was contacted by two male, black male truckers who were discriminated against, according to them, at a Denny's in South Dakota. They tried to get resolution, did not. They were kicked out, escorted out by the police. Well, after our reporting, Denny's has responded. I even received a phone call from the vice president of Denny's National. Let me remind you of the story, here it is. So to make the situation more calm, because we do have a lot of people here, it would just be nice if you guys could leave, but we are, I can't what do we do? guys. I have no idea. I'm not in the situation, but um, she like just like to make it more calm. She said like, you guys can look how they leave because we do have a lot of people around or the police will be on order because they are. So. But why do we have to leave? We just came to order food. Yeah, of course. I don't understand, like what, what do I, we do? I don't know. <clears throat> That's not right, man. Like, like uh, we, we, we were planning on leaving, but we wanted to wait for the police to get here because we wanted her name. Yeah, she didn't want to give us her name. Because we want to submit a complaint. Okay. She doesn't, she refused to yeah, give us her name. Yeah, she doesn't have to give her name. She had, but she works here, right? We we're yeah. expecting for, we waiting for a manager. Right? Okay, yeah. Do they have a well, manager? Well, um, did you guys do anything? No, we don't have a manager today. They're all off because they've been working though. like so all week. So if we leave, so. if I leave yeah. and the police get here, mm -hmm. she could just come up and say anything. I'm trying no, to rob no, yeah, 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 no. Um, so like, did you guys just... do anything to disturb her or disturb any customers? No, no, when she walked by, yes. I, had, I, I said, excuse me, because it yeah. seemed like she was, you know. Oh, yeah, it's really busy today. No, obviously. Yeah. So, you know, I said, excuse me, because he's been sitting here for 15 minutes. Yeah, of course. So, you know, when she left, she came back with the millions. And yeah. she said, well, I don't want to be yelled at. Yeah. And I said, I didn't yell at you. I was simply, yeah, okay. Can we talk outside real quick? Yo, what's going this? I am. Can we talk outside real quick? All right, just outside here. That's crazy. They're refusing to serve us. That's crazy. That's crazy. They're refusing to serve us. Let's put up the gentleman to remind you that these two men had the police called on them and service. Refused. Mr. Damon Whitfield and Mr. Hector Madera pulled into a pilot truck stop in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, to shower and grab some food. When the manager who, who refused to take their orders called the police to remove them from the restaurant. All right, let's put it up. After the incident, they called the corporate Denny's number to explain the situation and claim they didn't even receive an apology at that time, okay? After our reporting, Denny's reached out to Indisputable stating, quote, Denny's has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to discrimination at all Denny's locations. We embrace diversity and foster an inclusive environment where every guest feels welcome. A member of Denny's leadership team has been in contact with these two valued guests involved in this restaurant visit to ensure they know the situation has our full attention. It continues, we are actively investigating the incident report at Denny's in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. At the conclusion of the investigation, we will take appropriate disciplinary action. That is from Chris. Garvey Graves, manager partner of Finn Partners, um, looks to be like a PR and marketing firm, okay? Denny's VP of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, April Kelly Drummond, also reached out to Mr. Whitfield. And he told us, quote, she gave a very hollow apology and it seemed like she only reached out because the CEO saw the video. She wanted to get the story under the uh, under the story. I told her I didn't want to talk without an attorney with me on the call. Um, so that picture, let's keep it up. So you have the CEO, white female, the CEO, um, her name is Kelly. 
Uh, and you also have uh, Denny's VP of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Um, her name is April. Now, I will say this, I received a call from the VP of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Um, Ms. April, who was extremely appropriate, I must add. Now, naturally, there still has to be remedy and result. We have to see this all the way through. Um, I am thankful that it's being taken seriously now. Because according to the gentleman, when they contacted us, it was not. It was not being taken seriously. I guarantee you there will be an update to this story quickly. All right, Mayor, thoughts here. Listen, Dennis can say what Denny, Denny can say what they want to say. Policy, policy is yeah. only real when there's a culture that supports it, never right. without it. Policy becomes policy when the culture shows that it, it is a real thing. Um, if if black people want to get serious about serious, we should be at at pilots neck, and all black truckers should be skipping pilot going somewhere else until they say until this is addressed. And not before that. This is absolutely ridiculous. And the danger, I am so afraid every time I see police officers called on black men. Because I know for a certain age of black men, and these brothers look like they fall in that age. Whenever, whenever police arrive, you're, you're dealing with your leading cause of death. Between between 18s and almost 30, for black men, that's the leading, leading call of death. To call police on these brothers. In this manner was absolutely ridiculous. This idea, she, this woman that even responded and said there was no managers on duty, act as if she was being bothered. Did you bother her? What did you do to her? Where is customer first in that policy? Right. It's problematic from the beginning. Yeah, and that cannot be a protocol of any restaurant. No one is in charge. You mean there's nobody based on the chain of command that is considered at least the manager at this moment. Also, there was a proclamation from one of the truckers that said the person who owned the pilot has a relationship with the waitress who originally would not serve them. They put that on the record. We provided that information in the first story. Now, Dennis has an opportunity here, but you got to get it right. You got to not, you got to hit a grand slam in order to get this right. Because these gentlemen, they literally attempted to seek Remedy at the local level, that didn't happen to their satisfaction. They called the corporate number. No remedy happened at uh, for their satisfaction at that level. Uh, and then they contacted us.